Hi, good morning. This is Kyla Marie Broca and we're going to do an extemporaneous speech. This extemporaneous speech is about academic pressure. Academic stress leads to least well-being and an increased likelihood of developing anxiety or depression. Students who have academic stress can tend to do poorly at school. Academic stress is not easy because it can lead to depression and that depression can lead to suicide. There are many reasons of academic stress. Maybe that student is studying while working or maybe that student was also pressured by his or her parents. So we can't really tell the exact reason of that. Academic pressure can lead to depression. So if you are de depressed, you need to do something that can help you cope up stress. So let's proceed to our next topic, which is online games addiction. So basically online games is one of the way to cope up stress. It is proven and tested by many people. Online games have a positive and negative effect. So first we will tackle about its positive effect. You can bond with your loved ones, your family, your friends. You can also have a quality time for yourself. You can make yourself happy. You can distract yourself from the stress and stuff. And last but not the least, you can reduce stress and depression by just playing games. So next, let's proceed to its negative effect. So by playing games, you can be addicted to it. So yeah, video game addiction has its warning signs. It is important to note these signs because it can help you in many ways. These symptoms can be both emotional and physical. Some of the emotional signs or symptoms of the online game addiction include feeling of restlessness or irritability when unable to play, second, isolation from others in order to spend more time playing games, third, preoccupation with thoughts of previous online activity or anticipation of the next online game session, fourth, lying to friends or family members regarding the amount of time spent playing. Let's proceed to our next topic, which is schooling or working. So, as a student, it is not easy to choose between schooling and working. Schooling is very important for us, but we can do it if we don't have enough money to send ourselves to school. So, we really need to choose if we will continue to study or we will just work for now and study later. So, I really said hello to students who can do both, I mean, who can still study even though they are working. Because I think studying and working at the same time really needs a lot of courage and determination. Now let's focus on our next topic which is misguided love or relationship. So as a student, misguided love or relationship is one of the reasons why students are distracted from their studies. Being in in a misguided love or relationship is not good because it can lead to premature independence and teenage pregnancy. That's all. Thank you.